Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have November's Witch's Moon um, uh, box. I literally just got it in. So I'm so excited to look at it. So I'm going to do it right now so that I can do what I need to do. Um, it always smells so good. This is probably my favorite box. I do get a couple. Uh, I did not get the Nine of Earth this month. I just wasn't interested in the deck that it came with. Oh, I have this deck. This is the uh, Yggdrasil deck. So that's the card. It's always a card that comes with the um, with the box. Hell or again. Disorder. Yeah, it's about right. There's a lot of disorder right now around here. I have all kinds of stuff going on. So let's see. Okay. So this month's theme is the Yggdrasil. We delve into the divination during, I'm sorry, we delve deep into divination during this wonderfully dark time of year, pushing the boundaries of our comfort so that we may face the honest truth about our past, present, and future. In this extraordinary collection, we bring limited edition divinatory items to our pra uh, practice and craft, focusing on the ancient tales and lore of the Nordic tradition. As we focus on our development and purpose, we sit against the Yggdrasil, the ash tree of life, to fall into the wonderful symbol, symbols and strength of the old ways. In this truly one-of-a-kind collection, we, can, we connect with the gods and goddesses, giants and elves, future and fate, sure to help sure to help guide you through these darker months in preparation for the blessings to come. The magical items in this box are, box are as follows. Awesome. Okay. They always have such nice things. So the Prophecy of Edda. And this is, let's see, this is, they always have um, these Book of Shadows artwork pieces. This wonderful poem comes from the Voluspa, which tells the story of the creation of the world and its coming end and subsequent rebirth. Awesome. So that's pretty, it's this more, but you know, I can't read every single thing because if I did, I, it would take very long. Oh, look at this, Bifrost Bridge, like a rainbow. Uh, what's it say here? The Bifrost Bridge, the Bifrost is a burning rainbow bridge connecting the celestial realm of Asgard to the mundane plain of Midgard. It is guarded by the watchful eye of the deity Hamdal, extending out from his celestial residence, him and Ford to the human realm. Some scholars consider the Bifrost to be a mythical representation of the Milky Way. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. And that's another Book of Shadows artwork. And here we go. We have another one. This is pretty. <clears throat> Sacred World Tree of the Nine Realms. Yggdrasil. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love the artwork. So this is the Yggdrasil Book of Shadows artwork. This stunning depiction of the Yggdrasil and the information included was created by a very talented local artist specifically for this collection. Place upon your altar for display or keep within the Book of Shadows for reference. Written and illustrated by E. A. E. Alden. Do not make copies, not for sale. Yeah, this it's the person who always does all the artwork. I love the artwork. It's so beautiful. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, well, of course, I'm whacking the camera. Uh, it will, I will always forever be smacking the camera. Let's see if I can turn this light on. It might be better. Hold on. Is that a little bit better? Is that, you know, it's too much glare. You know what I probably need to do? Put like a tablecloth or something on here so there won't be any glare. And then maybe that would work out better. Let me just put this stuff in order here so it's out of my way okay so there's always a candle i love their candles i actually have a few i don't always burn them because half the time i don't have the time to do the things okay hand rolled ancient deity spell candle we have a hand rolled we have hand rolled this ancient deity spell candle with the intention of connecting you with the gods and goddesses of, of old uh, feel free to dress this candle. Candle will clarify your intentions for a specific day to, during ritual and meditation. Like I love the Norse pantheon, I really, really do. Um, 
I love Odin and Freya and, um, oh, let me think. I'm just, uh, Tyr, Thor. Um, who is Odin's wife? Oh, what is her name? Can't think of it right now. Yeah, it'll come to me. I love her. Frigga. Frigga? I think, I think it's Frigga. Oh, it's white. Let's see if it smells. It says it's dressed. It does have a slight smell to it, but I don't know what what's in there. I really don't. Okay, so that's the candle. Um, It's very slight on that, if it even has anything. Baldor. What is this? Herbal Blend Baldor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What do we got here? Um... Okay, er, Baldur Ritual Herbal Blend and Offerings. Only good things are told of Baldur. He is the personification of goodness, mildness, and kindness, of the likable, of talent, and also of renewal and foresight. We have created this blend of lavender, rosemary, and basil in time for you to use an offering as an offering for good intentions while working with the Nordic gods and goddesses. This blend can be placed within your copper tree of life bowl. Oh. And upon your altar of work. So I'm guessing there's a tree of life bowl in there. Okay. Ooh, that smells nice. You know what? What am I smelling? I think I smell more of the lavender than anything else. But it smells... It, you can definitely tell there's other things there. Let's see. I know this always incense. But I don't... Am I missing it? This always incense. Oh, there. Okay, it's at the bottom there. Okay, so. Plantain leaf. I don't have any of that. Plantain leaf, uh, Plango Major, used with thin magic and folklore for centuries. Plantain leaf is a wonderful addition to the witch's herbal cabinet. Known for its wonderfully protective qualities, plantain is commonly placed within satchels, charms, and herbal blends to ward off evil. Evil. Plantain is also used for good luck uh, and can be used as an offering for deities. Nice. You know what? I'm going to turn on my other light. Let's see. Maybe that's better. I hope so. Okay. So that's plantain. Like I told you guys before, I'm not, I do this just strictly for fun and I'm not, I'm never going to be that kind of person that edits and does like the, the, um, intros and all. I can't stand the intros in most videos I watch anyway. I always fast forward through them. So I'm, I'm never going to do that. I just literally don't have the patience for it. Uh, Alfenheimer sacred salt. Okay. Alfenheimer Ritual Sacred Salt. Alfenheimer is the world of the Vanir, known as the Light Elves, but commonly referred to simply as Elves. It is a magical place of light and hope, visions and ambition. We have created this Alfenheimer Sacred Salt Blend with the intentions of bringing you auric energies to a state of calm, allowing your mind physically to align with divinatory practices. Mm. We have enchanted the Sacred Salt Lavender Spearmint, Basil oils this also include a special mixture of our dream working magical oil from our personal personal cabinet of witchery. Let me smell. Mmm. Oh, that smells nice. It smells kind of minty. I don't know. What did they say they stuck in there? Lab oh spearmint. That's what I'm smelling. Hello. And we have. I love their incense. Favorite future. Let's see. You know what's weird is I look up the incense. They must do their own or something, cause I but I can't find it on their um, page. At least I haven't been able to. Uh, let's see, where is that? Sacred salt. Okay, right here. Favorite future ritual incense six. As you allow the smoke of this ritual incense to waft through your sacred space, allow its positive and uplifting energies to bring you revitalized hope and excitement for the future. Mm, I need that. Oh, it smells nice. I don't know. It almost smells like men's cologne. It's very, it's it's more, it's like earthy and um, almost bitter. This must be the little bowl they're talking about. Look how cute. Let's see. What do we got going on here? Uh, choo -choo -choo. Okay. Okay. Copper Tree of Life Bowl. We are so excited to be able to include this wonderful Copper Tree of Life offering bowl for you to use during your readings or place upon your altar. The 
tree of life is a symbol that has been found in cultures all around the world, generally known as a sacred tree. It is often associated with growth, fertility, abundance, health, and can represent our connection to the spirit realm. For this can specific collection, we have included this bowl to represent the Yggdrasil and a symbolic symbiotic relationship between all areas of our path awesome you know what i have an incense bowl with the Yggdrasil, but i don't have like a copper bowl oh this is pretty this is beautiful wow this is gorgeous look at that oh my god i don't even know if i want to use it it's so pretty oh here's my cat trying to get in my room look how beautiful this is wow you can see my face there. Yeah, hello. <laughs> wow, that's so pretty. So pretty. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, it looks like we have something in a baggie there. Would you stop? Zeus, bugle off. I have a screen so he can't come in here because he'll cause nothing but trouble in here. And he's always trying to get in here. <laughs> always always okay so we have an oil and let's see doo, 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 doo. the Yggdrasil magical anointing oil we have created this Yggdrasil magical anointing oil with the intention of fortifying your connection with the unseen realms as you cultivate your energy each day allow this anointing oil to be your divination and and i'm sorry to be your companion and ethereal friend i don't know where divination came out of that we have enchanted the soil with ylang ylang cedarwood, basil, as well as lavender, oak bark, and basil herbs, along with other magical oils from our personal cabinet of witchery used to create this special blend. We have included quartz crystal set to teach one, yeah, oneness and used to clear all chakras. Let's smell it. It always smells so good. Mmm. Yeah, I smell like... It almost smells like anisette to me. Maybe this is basil, the cedar wood I'm smelling, but to me it smells like anisette. Anisette. Oh, this feels like a deck. I think it might be. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, and we have, oh, we have a stone. Okay. Let's do the stone first because I'm kind of like curious as to what that deck is, but I want to hold off on that. Oh, it's um, amethyst, tumbled amethyst. Yep, tumbled amethyst stone. We have placed a beautiful tumbled amethyst stone with this collection for you to place upon your Yggdrasil deck when not in use. Oh, okay, so it's an Yggdrasil deck. I have that deck. I know I have that deck. That's actually one of my favorite decks. That's weird, though. It usually comes, the one I have comes with a, um, a box. This is just the deck. That's kind of strange. Maybe this is the box. Oh, the book? Okay, I'm confused. All right, so this is, okay, yeah, I have this. Odin's right up front. I have this deck, but it has no box? That's odd. Okay, I know it comes in a box. I may be crazy, but <laughs> I know it comes in a box. So let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. The Yggdrasil Norse Divination Cards and Hardcover guidebook limited edition oh so maybe that's why because the book that i have in the other box is soft cover i wouldn't care i'd prefer a box um created by hoker hal dorson with his daughter gun hilder hawks i know i screwed up i'm so sorry the divination deck has become a wonderful staple in icelandic artistry known for adhering to heathenry or a Satru as viewed by the Icelandic Asatru community. I do love this deck. I ain't going to lie. I, I do love this deck. I wish there was a box. I find, I find it kind of strange that there's no box. You know, I, do, I don't know. That's kind of odd to me. I know it's a limited edition book, but I would prefer a box. Because these kind of decks with a book like this, really hard to store. Okay. So, there's the book. I think, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to pause it. I think the other, hold on a second. Hold on one second here. Okay. I had to go dig my deck out. And this is how it comes 
in this box with the book and the deck. Now, I find it odd that there's no box, which honestly is kind of annoying to me. Let's see, would it even fit in there? Okay, it wouldn't fit in there. I would have preferred, okay, I'm just going to be completely honest, as much as I love the deck, and I really do love the deck, but now I have two, so I have to figure out something about that. But I would so have preferred the box like this so that it can be closed as opposed to just a book, this big book, because this is a, a large deck, um, with a pouch and the deck on its own. Because I don't like storing my decks like this. I mean, it's not to say that I don't. I have a couple that are like this. But for the most part, I prefer the boxes because it's just better for me, especially with the amount of decks that I have. But it's still beautiful. It's still a great deck. I absolutely love this deck. I have used it. I do use it. It's one of my favorites. I like that I got an extra card. I always like getting extra cards for decks because if I pull that card twice, you know, it really, really means something. So anyway... Oh. I shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to lay it all out real quick so you guys can see what we got here. I love Odin. Odin and Freya. They're awesome. Let me just move everything over here. I do love this. I do love it. Here's my oil. Here's the extra card and all the other stuff that I have here. It's kind of hard to like put it all out because, you know, trying to fit it in the frame and it's a little it's a little tricky so other than it not being in a box i think it's a great um addition all this stuff is a great addition to my collection of different things and um i will i'll figure out what to do with that because you know i don't need to all right you guys have a great day wherever you are thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it take care blessings and thank you